Hey everybody, Trolley Boy here. The Troll you can trust. Back with the Walking Dead Rose 5 video. Featuring awesome. a 27 combat mod opening, in which we will then go over which gold combat mods go really well or basically synergize with other survivors. But until then, enjoy the 27 combat mod box openings. Awesome! Awesome! Double kill! Triple kill! Awesome! Awesome! So there you have it everybody, 27 combat mod box opens, and 9 of them are gold. Now let's take a look and see which one of these go with what survivors. Some of these I may have, and some of these are just in a general sense, so in case you might have the same combat mod, and one of these survivors, you can put it to some good use. First combat mod we're going to talk about is defense while stunned being on the attack set. Wyatt and Eris, due to their hold the line specialist skill, as the defense while stunned will scale if they try to be stunned while taken out, and the attack set as that also scales with their hold the line as well, basically giving them the defense and the offense, both ends of the spectrum. Connor, I can see it working as if he's able to get his adrenaline rush off, not only is he going to lower defenses, but having the attack set will make good work of anybody that has lower defense. Hunter, of course, because defense while stunned on an indomitable makes perfect sense and as he can put out some decent damage due to his base stats and his adrenaline rush percent damage the attack set may not be a bad idea attack while impaired on a crit damage set to me this screams double attack weapons on blues as you can get immense amount of damage from this if you're going up against a range team where there's a bunch of red stun guns and impair weapons you can always take the route to just blast over a blue impair yourself and then hopefully when you get the double attack to proc, you can also get a crit on top of that with the crit damage set, making quick work of any reds on turn two. Third one here is AP down on the attack set, which pretty much can go to a lot of attack damage dealers. And we can also throw in some tanks such as Wyatt or Abraham with a decently high attack stat. So for our trait mods, we have defense first red on a defense set. Pretty much can go to any strong characters out there. Second is defense first yellow. Basically any tough characters, but I do like having the Tyrese and the Dwight as they can both be equipped with double attack weapons. Tyrese comes with a decapitate as well, so he can get the defense. And if he gets a double attack proc with a crit proc, then he is looking very good and taking somebody out. Dwight also has the double attack weapon plus the double attack adrenaline rush. If any one of those happen to proc, he is going to put out a lot of damage while also getting a little bit of defense on the side. Third is defense first green and the attack set. Fast characters, of course, specifically targeting Eris and Rosita as we're getting some defense and some offense, both ends of the spectrum, screams hold the line as well as Rosita as she does have a decent attack and defense base stats. Attack versus blue on the crit damage set. 
Once again, we're bringing in fast characters, but more specific, we can target someone such as Glenn or Ezekiel to proc their Guardian 2s, as if we're going to be rocking a crit set, we're going to be rocking high critical strike chance. And we also want to bring Last Raider Shiva or anybody that has trait damage to blues that can do a double attack. This works out perfectly as Shiva's Adrenaline and Rush can crit. Last for attack versus blue, you can bring in Conrad as he has a double attack preset weapon with 200% damage, his damage output will be good, and you can also take care of range in general by putting some damage versus blue on Conrad, basically giving you complete control for damage pressure on range. As for our resist mods, we have a bleed resist with a health set. This looks really good on blue tanks or just any tanks in general with the health set. If you're going to have anybody on your team or that specific survivor you're putting the bleed resist mod on has bonus health, then a good counter to you is burns and bleed. A bleed resist would not be the worst decision you could make. So the bleed resist mod could be a very advantageous mod for your survivor and your team. Last up on the list is the attack mod with the attack set. Literally any damage dealer. <laughs> That's going to wrap up the combat mod opening and combat mod comparison to survivors. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, it made you laugh before doing anything positive. Please give a nice go around and drop to that like and subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment down below. It's sports greatly appreciated. And on that, I'll get you on the next video. Bye-bye.